What if a simple change to tonight's dinner could train your gut to block sugar before it ever reaches your liver? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Today we're examining new research showing how inulin-rich vegetables, like onions, garlic, leeks, and chicory, can protect you from fructose-driven liver fat, improve insulin sensitivity, and strengthen your antioxidant defenses. I'm Ethan Foster, and we're focusing on practical food-first steps you can use right away. I'm Alara Skye. This episode centers on a nature metabolism study from the University of California, Irvine, where scientists traced how inulin changes the path of fructose through your body. The key finding is straightforward. When you consistently eat inulin-rich vegetables, your gut microbes consume harmful sugars earlier in digestion, cutting the spillover that would otherwise push your liver to make new fat. Fatty liver disease now affects roughly 38% of adults, and many people don't realize it's advancing until fatigue, abdominal discomfort, or odd lab results show up. The UCI team used isotope tracers to follow fructose in real time. Without inulin, fructose rushed through, raising liver fat and insulin resistance. With inulin, microbes rerouted that sugar, toned down fat-building pathways, and improved insulin signaling. Your gut and liver talk constantly through the hepatic portal vein, so what your microbes produce lands directly at your liver's door. When you feed those microbes inulin, you shift that conversation. The study showed early fermentation can occur in the small intestine, not just the colon, meaning fructose is intercepted sooner, easing the burden on your liver. There's also an antioxidant angle. With steady inulin intake, your liver boosts glutathione, the master antioxidant that neutralizes toxins and oxidative stress. That change is part of why participants' metabolic markers improved. The takeaway is not about a single superfood. It's about consistent, modest amounts that retrain your gut-liver axis over time. Let's make this usable. You can start with a quarter to half cup of cooked onion daily or half to one clove of garlic added to meals. Once your gut adjusts, even small touches, like a teaspoon of finely chopped onion in a dressing two to three times per week, support the same training effect. You're looking for repetition more than volume. If you want a structured approach, use a seven-day micro plan to build tolerance without bloating. Days one to two, two to three tablespoons of cooked onion in one meal. Days three to four, add half a clove of cooked garlic. Day five, include two tablespoons cooked leeks or chicory. Day six, test one teaspoon raw onion in a dressing if comfortable, pairing with vinegar or lemon. Day seven, Adjust slightly upward or hold steady based on comfort. You may notice temporary gas or bloating as microbes adapt. That's expected when they ferment new fibers and produce short-chain fatty acids. The solution is pacing. Start low and progress gradually. If your digestion is already unstable, persistent bloating, constipation, or frequent loose stools, stabilize first before increasing fermentable fibers. For those with IBS or SIBO, proceed with extra care. When your gut is inflamed or overgrown, even healthy fibers can be too much at first. In that phase, lean into foods that digest cleanly while you calm symptoms. Then reintroduce inulin-rich vegetables slowly as tolerance improves. You might ask about supplements. Inulin powders are widely marketed, but whole foods deliver water, enzymes, minerals, and structural fibers that make fermentation smoother. Concentrated powders can overwhelm an untrained gut. A supplement can make sense under clinical guidance, especially if you're tracking a HOMA IR score and need a measured dose. But the default is food first. There are more strategies that complement this gut liver work. Eliminating vegetable oils and alcohol is fundamental. Seed oils high in linoleic acid oxidize and generate toxic byproducts that damage mitochondria while alcohol directly injures liver cells. Replace those oils with grass-fed butter, ghee, tallow, or coconut oil, and skip alcohol. Carbohydrate targeting also matters. Aim for roughly 200 to 250 grams daily from whole, unprocessed foods, 
adjusting if you're highly active and as your digestion strengthens. Introduce complex starches gradually to support stable energy and metabolic function as your tolerance improves. Support fat handling with choline. Choline helps package fats and move them out of your liver. Focus on pastured egg yolks and grass-fed beef liver. If your diet falls short, a choline supplement such as citicoline in the range of 500 to 2,500 milligrams per day can help. Again, within a plan you can monitor. Sunlight and vitamin D round out the picture. Daily sun exposure supports your liver's ability to metabolize fat, but remove seed oils for at least six months before seeking peak sun to lower the risk of skin damage. When sunlight isn't practical, use vitamin D3 and track your blood level, aiming for 60 to 80 nanograms per milliliter. Testing a couple of times a year keeps you on target. Back to inulin-rich foods you can rotate. Onions and garlic are the easiest on-ramp. You can also use leeks, chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, and asparagus. Each brings slightly different fibers and polyphenols that broaden microbial diversity. Start small with higher inulin choices like chicory and Jerusalem artichoke, and scale as comfort allows. Consistency is the thread through all of this. Your microbes adapt to what you feed them most days, not what you eat once in a while. When you keep input steady, small servings of cooked onions, a bit of garlic, the occasional leeks or chicory, you train your gut to buffer fructose, reduce liver fat formation, and maintain a stronger antioxidant response. Let's close with a concise action plan you can use this week. Remove seed oils and alcohol from your meals. Add two to three tablespoons of cooked onion daily for two days, then layer in half a clove of cooked garlic on days three and four. On day five, add two tablespoons of cooked leeks or chicory. Test one teaspoon of raw onion on day six, if comfortable, and adjust on day seven. Keep portions modest, observe your digestion, and move at the pace your body tolerates. Here's your challenge. Choose one daily meal and make it your inulin anchor for the next seven days. Start with cooked onion, add garlic midweek, and note energy, digestion, and post-meal comfort. If you're tracking labs, log how you feel alongside fasting glucose, or H-O-M-A-I-R, over time. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.